Hey guys, how's it going? I've just got a wee tutorial here on to show you how to set up live streaming with Open Broadcaster for YouTube. Well, first of all, YouTube just recently enabled live streaming for me, and I've been getting quite a, having quite a lot of difficulty with it. And I'm seeing quite a lot of other people are having difficulty too. I first of all started using this software called XSplit Broadcaster, which I paid for, but it won't let me authorize my YouTube account. So I've just put that aside. I've also emailed them and no word back in 48 hours which I don't really like so I've just stopped using it altogether especially when I find this new one here open broadcaster software it's completely free I'll put a link in the description for you guys and you can go and check that out so we'll, I'll get into the settings of it now just you want to open up your open broadcaster these two boxes here will be blank but we'll get back to that in a minute just go to your main settings leave this here I haven't touched nothing here you want to leave that all the same go to encoding there the only box I touched was the max bit rate and I put it at 2400 because I've got quite a good computer and a fast internet speed but if your internet's not the fastest or your computer's not the fastest you want to put that down to about 1500 but if, as I say if you've got a fast computer put it up the same as me I haven't touched nothing to do with the audio but you can put it on MP3 if you want but I just leave it on AAC broadcast settings you want to go up here I've got it on live stream and YouTube as I'll be live streaming to YouTube and that's what this tutorial is about but if you want to use one of the other ones you can go ahead and try and configure it out yourselves the server is primary YouTube invest server and we'll get back to the pa our play path in a wee minute but you need to go on to YouTube to get this the rest of it I haven't touched it's all just the I've just left it the same the only thing you want to change is your file path where you want your file to be saved to at the end or, or wherever you want it to go and you want to go to video the only thing I changed here was my re or base resolution is 1280 by 720. So, but if you want to do it in 1080p, as can. It's up to you. I just stick to this, and it's pl it just plays smoother on YouTube. And my frames per second is 30 frames per second. My audio. The only thing I changed was I changed my desktop audio to default and my microphone to default, so it picks up your gameplay and your voice chat. And just leave, I've just left the rest the same and I didn't touch advanced settings just left them all the same but you can have a look of, over them if you want so just click OK there so what you want to do now is and just minimize this is open up your capture software and have it run in the background which it should load up in a wee minute just a wee minute to get a drink my fruit's drying out so when that loads up you can just minimize that again go back to your open broadcaster software and these two boxes will be blank so what you want to do is you want to right click add a scene and we'll just call this GTA for instance as we'll be using this one to live stream GTA you want to go right click on sources and add image or no sorry add motion capture and you want to click OK and so, sorry if I told you to minimize it but you can open that up again your capture software and then just go back into motion capture move this so you can see the edge of your capture screen software where you want it to capture and click sub region put in your resolution which is mine is 1280 by 720 and click or click select region you want to go to the edges and drag this in to the ed the border of your capture software where the screen where you want captured down like that yeah and then just hit enter and OK now that should be capturing the uh, that just that part of the screen but you'll not see nothing in this box until you click you can click preview stream once you click preview stream it'll probably come up like this where it doesn't look right so what you want to do is click edit scene and then just go over to the corner grab the corner and drag it out like that now you need to keep this part of your screen clear or anyone on your live stream is going to see it so just make sure you keep all this part clear or they're going to see that like if I bring this over this is what they're going to see on YouTube so we can minimize this minimize that and go to you want to go to YouTube and you need to be a partner for this sorry I should have said that at the start of the video go to video manager 
and you want to go to live events and I don't have anything scheduled so you want to schedule a new event and we'll just call this for the video test and we'll put in the description test and we'll tag it test and just go then you can go to we don't want it pub we don't want it public because we don't want people seeing it so we'll go to private and we'll go to create event it'll just take a wee second to create the event and once that's done you want to click select bitrate which I want mine at 720 so I've picked this one just click on that one and then you go to here and you click you can edit there's wirecast or file media live encoder where we're going to be using other encoders so click other encoders and it's this top one you want to copy this copy go back to your open broadcaster software go back to your settings and into broadcast settings and it's this code here just remove that one out copy paste click apply and ok now once you click or sorry once you click start stream and go back here and click on this button live control room this will be blue and it'll come up here to preview once it says preview um, you've seen your preview you can start your stream and that should be you now just make sure you minimize out all this again and keep minimize out of this and keep this here up on your screen so that's what people see when they're when they're watching your stream and they don't see your youtube screen <laughs> so i hope this video helped you out and if it did in any way please drop me a like uh, share it with your friends and subscribe please or guys thanks very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video